Erus Tarum Faja Ekar Gotine, Gudi on Grail College, the Caton, a Kulmala. We are a small coeducational Irish language medium secondary school uh, in, in the town of Clonmel. And we offer to, to the students of Clonmel itself and the environs um, a good comprehensive education, regardless of the language, I suppose. Uh, but the culture and the language is something that's very important to us. So the language infiltrates into the way we work, infiltrates the way we think, and infiltrates into the, um, the attitude that comes out of the school afterwards and the culture that's around here. My first connection with the school was as a parent. My own son came to the school. In fact, he did his evening cert here this year. So my connection to the school went back for the last six years, even though I've only been principal for the last year. Um, and I saw immediately the teacher's attitude towards the pupils. There really was a relationship that was based on community, um, on care, and on the fact that everybody here works together. We don't see the students as somebody we just teach, but somebody, people who work with us. And that's true of the parents as well. I think we get a sense of an overall community and a community atmosphere that comes true to the school. Um, and that, that comes from the teachers, I think. I think the staff have this feeling that they want to do the best for the students here. Uh, it's a very academic school. Our results are incredibly high. Um, this, this year, no exception. And the year before, we had 70% of our students got over 400 points, where the national average is only 36%. That's a very, very academic school. But at the same time, it's a school that really sets a stall on looking after the individual, but also looking after the community. And the fact that we are in the centre of town is important to us too. We're in a very old building here um, that has been here for over 100 years, but it is part of the town of Clamel. And we offer something that's very unique in the town, in that we're co-educational, just like Graheen College, but also the, the Irish language culture here. But because of the size of the school, I think everybody knows each other. Within a, a, a couple of weeks of being here, every student had said hello to me at some stage and it was every student's name that I was able to get. Um, because there's only 160 students here, it, it, it really creates a very, very special, unique atmosphere. It's called um, Long Gaelic Mats, and it's called So, the mask and the kind of book in the show. It's August, how long over our phone and show, ton over tradition to our no some great compared to Matt and all the Octon's dad, Akmanishin, ton over practical or phone and show, the on Omadorach, on Inotorach, on graphic hack new, on Akhnamis Walla, to no Kunzacht, the only Galera phone and show, then Strasshin Shrach, you know, to Rapeshin, Lehan, the over our phone and show, the Muscullery. Our aim is to foster the growth of the Greek and culture Gaelic. Do you know, and it's something that we take pride in here in the school. Our students have come here to harness their Irish. And as well as that, we ha we're very fortunate to have a teacher on the staff that can show the students the skills involved in traditional boat building. I'm sure you've seen some of the curls around the place. And that's something not every school has, so we're very fortunate here in Gaelic Lashikating. Teachers and pupils have a great relationship in the school. There is a sense that we're more approachable. As a smaller school, we know our students and they know us and they feel like they can ask us for help. It, it creates a great atmosphere in the school. We look for good grades for our students, but at the end of the day, it comes down to student well-being and happiness. Are our students happy here? And that's our top priority. Um, a new view of a of curry and wrong to us, Mara Khonishiv. Rename Curry, I guess time to your sauce less, just brawl them curry, I guess it's brawl them to you. So then you made sure it, I guess cool correct, I guess fresh and rename a show and then shakata, but CBA is directly in a touch of fear tough talk of it in our cool correct, because it's touch of the sale via it. I really enjoy homework, uh, we get to do lots of cooking and baking. And last year we made a CBA and we did um, a plique and embroidery. Uh, everyone here is friends with each other, the teacher is very supportive and telling us what to do. And she gets us prepared for what we're going to make the day before we make it. And if we don't know what to do, we can ask each other or we can ask Miss Begley. Steve Galair, August Fawcett, Quigan Round Oliacht in Gwekalosh to Katie. 
I would like to give you a little background to science in our school while you see some of our students carrying out various experiments in our dedicated science laboratory. Science in our school is a core junior cycle subject. This means that all students study science up to junior cycle. The new junior cycle specification includes learning outcomes across four contextual strands – the physical world, the chemical world, biological world and earth and space and a fifth strand that links all these topics together, the nature of science. The nature of science aims to promote greater engagement and thinking about how science works, carrying out investigations, communicating in science, and the role and contribution of science and scientists to society. These skills are what we in the Gaelkolaj de Cating Science Department are continuously striving to achieve in all our students. As students progress to senior cycle, they are given the opportunity to study all the three main Leaving Cert subjects of biology, chemistry and physics. At present, 91% of our sixth year students and 73% of our fifth year students are studying at least one science subject for Leaving Cert. In combination with the other STEM subjects, technology, construction, DCG, engineering and maths, 100% of students in sixth year and 93% of students in fifth year are studying STEM subjects. As a result of the large percentages of students taking these subjects, several scholarships have been won in the area of STEM. These include the Janssen Engineering Scholarship in CIT, Ernest Rutherford Scholarship in Physics in UL and Science Undergraduate Scholarship in UCD. Past pupils have continued their studies in a range of other STEM subjects such as genetic engineering, nursing, dentistry, pharmacy, architecture, veterinary nursing and computer science. Our facilities and a hard-working, enthusiastic staff are vital to these achievements and we were very lucky to have both in Gael Collage to Katie. I guess the big thing for Caitlin coming here was that she came from an English speaking school. It was more of an issue of not knowing people compared to the Irish. That would have been what was she would have been most concerned about. Um, but the small class sizes meant she got to know her classmates an awful lot quicker. I think as well the, um, the atmosphere here is really good. So the teachers know the students really well also. Like I would have found that even teachers who weren't teaching her directly they all knew her as well and they were all looking out for her to make sure that she was um, settling in well. Within a matter of um, a couple of weeks she was, um, she was very happy here. And they're also very good with um, you know, extracurricular activity. Caitlin would have been very much into um, you know, the music and the arts and the shows and that type of thing that they do here. And, um, you know, and art as well, she, she loves all of that. So I mean, it's a kind of a very rounded um, education that they're getting. Uh, it's not all just the academic. So Saskia came from Balmacarby National School, fantastic school. When we came in here to check, check out the schools on the open nights or whatever, it was the atmosphere of the school, number one, that she felt this is somewhere that I would really like to go to. But um, in her head, she wanted to do primary school teaching, so Irish would have been a big part of that. And she thought if she came here, that was going to you know, influence our, our, our college choices, etc. But from the time she started, I think six weeks in, uh, she changed her mind, her architecture, engineering, that's what she wanted to do and it was because of the subject choices she was able to do the hands-on practical subjects that girls often don't get a chance to do. Well, I'm a past pupil myself and um, I came from an English speaking primary school so I uh, came in with that experience. The teachers, uh, all the staff in the school were so helpful, so friendly um, and so encouraging. They really helped me progress my Irish and um, through my experience in the school, I decided to go on and study home economics and Irish teaching. So I'm currently back at the minute and um, taking a few classes to try and improve myself. Yeah, like when you're a student, I suppose you don't realise the amount of work that the teachers do put in. Um, and it really just made me kind of appreciate everything that they did for us when we were here as pupils. And no, it's a fabulous school I would recommend. Um. I, I came here so that I could uh, improve my Irish and that I could get like a different experience from my past school. I think it's, it's, it's a pretty good experience, um, a lot of different things. It's a much smaller school than my last school and um, there's, there's a lot of different subjects, more practical subjects. It's, for example, like, you know, technology, I'm very interested in technology and stuff like that. There's a lot of um, connection between the, the students uh, together and like the teachers, you know. It's, it's, it's more of like a community rather than a school, you know, you know everybody on a kind of personal level, if you know what I mean. 
Hi, my name is Chloe Reap. I am the ASD class teacher here in Gael Clash de Cating. The ASD class was newly set up this year to support our students with autism. Uh, the students primarily attend mainstream classes but avail of the ASD class um, for extra care and support or just a quiet safe space that caters for their sensory needs. We have a lot of people who are in school. We have a lot of people who are in school. We have a lot of people who are in school. We have a lot of people who are in school. We have a lot of people who are in school. We have a lot of people who are in school. We have a lot of people who are in school. We have a lot of people who are in school. We have a lot of people who are in school. We have a lot of people who are in school. We have a lot of people who are in I am a sport tool. I am a sport tool. I am a sport tool. With our sports, we try and cater for everyone. So we have uh, ladies' teams and men's teams. So we are a small school, but um, we find that kids come to us with kind of unique talents. So, like, we never had a golf team before last year, but we had a couple of students last year who wanted to play golf. They came to us, they played the golf. We have students who take part in horse riding, swimming for school, things like that, which are you don't always see in every school. Um, in terms of your more common sports, we'll say GA, we have ladies teams from uh, junior up to senior, and we also have men's teams from junior up to senior. Um, we are a small school. Last year we were fairly proud of the lads that got to, our senior team got to the Munster semi-final, our under 16 and a half got to the Munster semi-final. Under 16 and a half hurdlers got to the Munster quarter final. So they were big achievements for us. Um, we do have very good hurdlers and footballers coming up along. Um, we're fortunate enough to have had a couple of senior county players in hurling and football. Um, our main student being Seamus Kennedy and Tyke Fitzgerald as well as on the senior football panel for Tipperary. Basketball is a, is a huge sport here in the school as well. Um, Mr. Keneally does great work with the basketball teams and uh, I suppose it's, it's a great sport for us here in the school because it's smaller numbers um, and it's a sport that the kids usually don't play outside of school and it has huge benefits for them in other sports as well that they usually do play. Um, basketball here in the school has taken off over the last number of years. They've won South East Regional Finals and also Munster Finals as well. Um, they've competed in the All-Irelands the last two or three years in a row I think so. It's a sport that's definitely grown and if you come outside to the school there at any lunchtime, you'll see nearly every year with a basketball um, playing. It's just a sport the kids love to play. Look, the, the benefits of sport are huge. Um, we find, I, I found myself, I was nearly going to school only to play sport, not to, not to learn. And um, you could still say the same today for some students. That it's an outlet for students. It's a great way for students to make friends. It's a great way for them to um, get to know lads from other clubs, other backgrounds um, and test themselves against other lads um, and test themselves in another way other than a, in, in class um, and it's a great way for the teachers here to get to know the students as well. I've been here six years, this is my last year. Uh, plenty of opportunities here. Um, when I first came, we had a really broad subject choice, very small classes. Uh, we still do. Now in fifth and sixth year, I remember doing my choices in fifth year. And we had loads of them, especially in practical subjects. We had, you know, engineering, DCG, uh, construction. I chose history and in our class there's only me and one other person, so it's a really good ratio, I suppose. Yeah, I'd say people are fairly proud of the school. And you know, it's good that it's mixed as well. You don't have too much of one or the other. And everyone gets on, I suppose, here, which is nice. All the years, especially, you know, it's very small, so 
we kind of have an idea of all the other years, even though we'd be split apart in our daily classes. And we have a career guidance counsellor as well, she's always into us. In fifth and sixth year they have a class added on, especially for career guidance, and she'll go through everything with you. And uh, we've plenty of books being brought in, all the universities, CAO and all that kind of stuff. So you'd have an idea of it, even before sixth year. And uh, it's in TY as well, you'd do a lot of it. So that is handy, uh, you will be set up for going into third level. Transition year is uh, it's compulsory here, um, such is our belief in, in the programme that we offer here. And I just think it's an amazing stepping stone between junior cycle to senior cycle. And it gives students time, you know, time to, you know, do a bit of self-exploration and to find their direction and what direction they're going in. And I suppose it's really important when it comes to subject choice that they know what subjects they need for whatever particular career path they want to follow. You know, we aim to kind of create a holistic individual who is, it's not just all about academics, who, who's grounded, who holds their own, who's confident in themselves and who they are. And that's really, really important. I suppose as a guidance counsellor, that is ultimately what it's about. Hello, it's Misha Andrew De Poer, Law Hurl at 2FM, Agus Irskalor, Hilklosh, the Katie. Agus, come here, Grandma Cravesha, Savelklosh, or Countess Matrevesha, is far in Mohil, Gadisha, Agus Volting, Gagahaina, it's all Torf, then on school, Gul, Kofadalesh, and Osha. Morohi, Ni Ventures, not in Willem Fellohers, Ni Ventures, sit on show, is never a door more milk of tape here from. Hogan Guelga, an urchin deshna of Umsa Cecil, Ictus Numax Namion. There's a shock at RTE, the radio on the Velvet Tags, and it's a ride of sports, I guess, 2FM. Tiv Mwig in Radio Fuel, on Irchin Deshna on, like Welga, I guess, Rudy Arms, like Gahain, no, but a job on, and Merle, but to sit on a job, she ain't of Poma, and you hate dear old Tishkul Gwelga to kneel to an on, ach job in it, ask Gwelga in, or to an on, Gahain job in it. I guess, Leshin, Tagana Deshna, Deshna Ashru Khan, Deshna Muntorokta. Deshne a bit igmuna in all schoolne. Agus ten lister araigus araigus araig. So, Volhun Gamor, Gagache and Golko Fadal Gel Kalashik 18, one mission, Erichin Salt as my own own, some kinte, Gamana Hain. One of my own son's friends said to me one day, he said, This school is a place that allows you to be yourself. And that message can't be lost in us. You are an individual as part of a community, and that's really, really important. Self-expression is important to us, uh, musical expression is important to us, artistic expression is important to us, but really to get a sense of being who you want to be, and we are there to facilitate that, I think.